I wanted to do a video addressing some of the criticism Vladimir Klitschko gets for not avenging his losses against Corey Sanders and Ross Purity. And people say that Vladimir Klitschko needed his bigger brother to beat Corey Sanders and Ross Purity because Vladimir Klitschko doubted he could do it himself. Now, I'll talk about the Corey Sanders one first. After, when Vladimir Klitschko fought Corey Sanders, they were fighting for the, the WBO title belt, the WBO world title belt. Uh, I think it was Vladimir's fifth or sixth defence of the belt. And Corey Sanders pulled off a shock win. He knocked Vladimir Klitschko down six times, clearly won that fight. He, he just got in really good, clean power shots and knocked Vladimir Klitschko down. To Vladimir's credit, though, he did get back up and he did try and continue to keep going in the fight. But the ref stopped it. And after Corey Sanders won, the WBO immediately ordered him to rematch Vladimir Klitschko. They told him that they wouldn't sanction any other fights, that they'd only sanction... Corey Sanders fighting Vladimir for the WBO belt and if he didn't want to fight Vladimir Klitschko he'd have to give up the belt, the WBO title belt. Corey Sanders decided to give up the WBO title belt and you can see if you look up on BoxRec when Corey Sanders won that title of Vladimir Klitschko he fought Vitaly Klitschko next and it was not for any title belt at all because he had given up the belt so in order to avoid fighting Vladimir Klitschko in the rematch. So there were, there, it wasn't Vladimir Klitschko's fault that rematch never happened at all. Then on to Ross Purity. Now, Ross, in the Ross Purity fight, Vladimir Klitschko is clearly outboxing Ross Purity for the first 10 rounds. He's got a far higher work rate. He's landing all the, the clean punches. Ross Purity is quite defensive. And this is a quote, actually, from... Ross Purity a few years after the fight. I had just let him punch himself out, talking about Vladimir Klitschko there, obviously. I'm sure he would have knocked out a lot of guys before that. I just happened to take a good punch. I feel to this day that had been more patient and boxed, he would have won that fight. Then, the news reports a few years after, as after winning... His next seven fights, Klitschko hoped to have a rematch with Purity in Hamburg, Germany on March 18, 2000. But Purity rejected the offer made by Universum Box Promotions, which is Klitschko's management. Ross Purity lost to Vitaly Klitschko, Vladimir's older brother, by an 11th round TKO on December the 8th, 2001. So, in other words, Vladimir Klitschko did attempt to have the rematch with Ross Purity, and they attempted to have the rematch with Ross Purity over a year before Vitaly, Vladimir's older brother, actually fought him and beat Ross Purity. Now, obviously the question is, why did Ross Purity never take the, the rematch? And I think it's because Ross Purity wanted to immortalise his win over Vladimir Klitschko. If Ross Purity didn't fight uh, Vladimir Klitschko again, well, Vitaly Klitschko would obviously come knocking on his door and offer to fight him. So it didn't matter if Purity rematched him or fought Vitaly Klitschko, he'd still get the payday. If he fought Vitaly Klitschko, though, he'd get the payday and he'd still have that win over Vladimir Klitschko. And that, that's how I think it worked out. Uh, so, as you can see, Vladimir offered to rematch Corey Sanders and he offered to rematch Ross Purity. The offers were rejected, though. And that's the only reason why Vladimir Klitschko never got to avenge his losses to them two opponents.